Oh shit, this episode kind of hit. Buffy the Vampire Slayer, season number seven, episodes number seven and eight. What's going on, Buffy fam? Let's see what's going on over in Sunnydale. Yeah, we just went through a little bit of an angel binge. It was a pretty uh, popping few episodes. So let's see if Buffy can go toe to toe this week. Smack the like button, subscribe if you guys haven't already, and let's see what's going on today. Horror and bloodshed from beneath you. It comes. It devours. All right, from beneath you it devours. The final end game for Buffy. Let's see it. Conversations with dead people. The year is 2002. Okay, looks like we're in for a fun one. Willow back to studying. Alone. Here we go. Huh. Just another day in Sunnydale? Was that her just... I don't know. Maybe everyone is just a little tired of the usual. So I guess Giles is just uh, gone now. They're all old enough. He said they don't need me. You keep circling around. Just... Just drive straight in. You shut up. <laughs> Gotta keep it low pro. I didn't like it there. Everybody spoke Mexican. Joyce! It seems like we got a resurrection arc coming along. <laughs> Ugh. I'm so busy. Oh. Yeah, I, I, come on, you couldn't see that coming. I think it's blood. Got a mariachi band playing. This is the UC library, huh? It's so big. Hey yo, you're dead. Hey. Hey yo. I know you. The dead comes I'm alive. Sure. Yeah. We never really met. Warren Joyce. Did I fall asleep? No, no, I'm here. I mean, not not here. Chatting you up. Yeah. Ironic. I knew this would. It's important. Oh, Tara. She, don't worry, I'm not gonna talking about. Yeah, maybe. She says she still sings. Tara. Oh, come on, she is so dead. Interesting. Is there a storm? Buffy. <laughs> Buffy Summers. Uh, have we? Oh. oh. Webs. Oh gosh. Holden Webster. We went to school together. European history. You really don't remember me? LOL. Sure. Sure. I mean, slightly overkill there, but I mean, it's getting the job done. That is awful. Broken glass. Ooh. You filled out a lot. Oh, yeah, well, I <laughs> got into Taekwondo. So what have you been up to? Uh, well, apparently dying. <laughs> <laughs> you always had that shtick of, yeah, I'm crazy, I'm crazy. How is he? Crazy. Whoa, did my face just change? Yeah, you look human now. You know, with the steak and the cross, you do this kind of thing a lot? Well, I don't get paid. And, you, and you kill him. I dated that ringworm. He says that about every girl he breaks up with. And then, so all that time you were a slayer. D. No, I hear you. No, I really am. <laughs> Come on, pick up. Ugh. I don't know what to do. Do it again, I heard you. Oh, her body's there now too. This is absolutely rough. <laughs> Wait, what mother's milk is red today? That's kind of funny. <laughs> I rebuke you, demon. Once for yes. Don't bargain with demonic Twice terrorists, no. Don. It's you. Are you okay? Fam, we just fixed the crib not too long ago. Find it. We alert the Slayer. We help her destroy it. We save Sunnydale. Check, check, check. Okay. Alright, so it seems like some evil dead uh, demon has been re has been produced and is uh, wreaking havoc on Sunnydale, specifically our main protagonists. Will we prevail? Will this be a larger threat? Let's find out. All specs are within parameters. 
You keep leaving. I hate it when you leave me. Now that death thing was all part of the master plan. Oh God, this has been really a bigger game. A short round pulls off his end of the bargain. We'll both become gods. Wait, really? Who's our last hope? No, I was just going with it. It was a thing. I... No, he's our last hope. I'm guessing she couldn't Sorry, come for couldn't come for contractual reasons, or maybe she was just busy. She, I don't understand. She I mean, if you can manifest because of what you did. What? Oh, we're gonna blame you it on the magic. People. I miss you. I miss you so much. She misses you too. She wishes she could touch you. Uh, you are. Target the impossible ones with deadly accuracy. <laughs> You think you do that on purpose? I commit. I'm committed. I'm a committee. So it's them. <laughs> You're reaching out, they're just not coming through. But you should just ease up on yourself. It's not exactly like you have the patent on bad relationships. Wouldn't it be cool if I did? Vampifier, just so we can be together forever. Sire. What? The word. When you turn a human into a vampire, it's you, sire. I was afraid to talk to you in high school, and now we're like mortal enemies. <laughs> hey, wouldn't it be cool if we became nemeses? And fun catching up. I haven't really kept in contact with many of my friends from high school. This guy gives me Norm MacDonald energy. Pretty soon. Can't let you. Do the word superiority complex mean anything to you? You think I'm gonna let you go kill a bunch of people? You don't issue me. Just answer me this. <laughs> Whose fault was your parents' divorce? It's insane troll logic. What do my parents have to do? He's gonna troll her out of death. My dad. Uh-huh. Sir Deadbeat. Whose fault is that? It's incredibly different. Even a little bit. We're really breaking down the Slayer's Reason psyche you have here. trouble connecting to guys seven years and not feel superior. I'm not. My God, if anything, it... you'd laugh if you heard some of the things I've done to them. I'm here to kill you, not to judge you. <laughs> the last guy was... There's nothing wrong with you. Damn. So is it, okay, I mean he got the advantage. He really struck many nerves. Right, let's see some of those skills. Mortal enemy stuff. Pretty fast learner though, right? Are you keeping her from coming back to me? Coming towards you, okay? Oh Jesus. They're not going to have her axe her mom's dead body. There's no way. Get out. She's my mother. I'm staying. She's in the high school again. Yeah. They <laughs> look like a PNG of Warren. <laughs> He's so flat on the wall. Okay. But are you killing me because I'm evil or because you opened up? <gasps> Damn. He's got her on lock. Does he exist? Is there a word on that, by the way? Kinda? Nothing solid. I get to ask anything. No secrets, no defensiveness. Anything I want to know. Your last relationship. Was it with a vampire? I hurt so many people. It was the power. I am the power. I, I don't want to. I, I can't. I never want to cause that kind of pain. She says... Stop lying to yourself. You're gonna kill everybody. So is our trauma really the villain of this season? Destroy it. 36, 19, 27. That's it! What? That was my locker combination. <laughs> Fucking missed my enemies. I missed the people I talked to every day. I missed the people who never knew I existed. <laughs> Bro, she is going through all the dimensions of hell. I cast you from this plane. <laughs> She's, bro, she's really sp tossing sprinkles at a demigorgon right now that's tarnishing her household, thinking it's gonna do something. Poor Dot. But I, I didn't want to be loved. Didn't you? You know, this is um, complicated. If you'd rather just fight. Tell me. I feel like they're not the Slayer. Mm hmm. I am. You do have a superiority complex, and you've got an inferiority complex about it. <laughs> and it all adds up to you feeling alone. But Buffy, everybody feels alone. Speaking of... 
You ready for our little death match? Uh, with that stuff with Spike, it's pretty... Hold it. What? Did you say Spike? What? Holy smokes, Dawn was getting the works. But if you stop completely, no more magic. Right, right, stop. You're telling me I'm gonna murder all my friends. I'm not strong, I'm not an Amazon, I'm just me. You One could, thing you could do to stop it. You could what? off yourself? Anything. Then you could see her, be with her. Everybody will be safe and you'll be together again. Yeah, I'll pass. How do you know Spike? What do you mean, how? He was the guy that, um... Sired you? Oh, what's the word? Sired. Yeah. He was the guy that sired me. Things are coming, Don. Listen, <laughs> things are on their way. No! No, don't go! Please don't go! Okay, looks like we're getting into the main events oh. for season seven. Dawn will not be chosen. Beneath you, it devours. Spike is out on a lunch again. You seem so right. Tell me who you are. I stand by my opinion. Hook a razor blade to your wrist. Stop. Jonathan is not here that. anymore. Oh, baby, you left such a big hole. It hurts so bad. Damn. You don't know hurt. I'm done with the mortal coil. But believe me, finish. Who the hell are you? Me. Well, who are you? Worry? Oh shit, this episode kinda hit. We really get into some, some new supernatural territory, huh? Jonathan leads for us. Can I make it right? Can I see? Bruh, cheer! Wait, 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 wait. What's going on guys? We're diving into episode number eight. For season number seven. Eight. Bruh, chip. Yeah, where is Xander? He's been gone this whole time. I don't know, creature of the night, buff. He's probably out creaturing. Is he in trouble? That's his first thought. I hope not. Dang, I guess he's really getting back to his roots. This is awful because this whole getting a soul thing, you think it would have changed him. And Buffy and him might have been able to work it out, maybe. Oh, we're in, we're in Brovtown. Yikes. Yeah, everything just got turned on its head last episode. Buffy? Dawn? Oh my god. Yeah, let's ignore the devastated living room. I'm alright. Let me see, make sure. I saw mom. Well, at least... I don't think. Uh, I saw something too, and it looked like a big bad. Don, the one we knew was coming. Things were on their way, and things that would she arrive. Us. <laughs> Vague. <laughs> so it had to be her, right? I mean, why would a vampire lie about who sired him? What's that? Some kind of stat. Hey, objective here. Maybe the chip's not working anymore. Well, it's, it's been a little while. Either. Is it? Well, this can't be good. You heard of this all? None of my business. No worries. Spike, I... It's all right. And yours? Did you, uh... Uh, someone I used to know, actually. A little... Holden Webster. You knew him, huh? I'm gonna turn in before I drop. We need to keep an eye on Spike. Whoa, whoa, whoa. When you say we, you mean me. And me's gotta go to work. I got a big yeah. time meeting in a couple of hours. Uh-uh! Forget it, Harris. Come on, Anya. You said you'd do it on the phone. Yeah, but that... Alone with him? I didn't mind being alone with him before. Yo, chill, that? chill. Nothing. Better be. Because if I get vamped, I'm gonna bite your ass. Wouldn't be the first time. What was that? <laughs> Downstairs looks like... Hell happened? Yeah. This big evil that's been promising to devour us? I mean, maybe... 
Maybe to convince oh, us. Oh, Buffy's necessary. going back into season five mode. Or, or maybe just. Oh my God. The vampire I killed last told me Spike sired him. It was a part of the ruse. So maybe it was another one, a a, a fake out. No, I, we saw too. the scenes. It has to be real. He wasn't a real fan. But if I'm wrong, and he is, I'll kill that son of a bitch. I have to see it for myself. What an odd t-shirt design. Like, what is the point of that other than just to show, like, your nipples? I'm confused, right? Like, it's not like it's like it's supposed to be a design. I don't see anything. Then it's just like a weird shape of floral design. I don't even know what that is. It's, it's bothering me. I don't get it. I'm he here, obviously, for, um, sex. Oh, God. Uh, beg pardon? Oh, God. Here and now. I can't help it. <laughs> I can't stop thinking about you oh, and us. Oh, no. Grief. Craziness talking. It's just nerves. Nerves. Nerves and, and horniness. That's a yikes. Uh, all I'm saying is Sola Spike would have had me upside down and halfway to Happy Land by now. <laughs> Look, uh, I've got things to do. Don't stick around on my account. I'm loving the direction of these two episodes. Alright, we're f now with the idea of this big bad here. Feels like we're actually building towards something. Oh, my man is killing it! Where are we? Like at a train center? Oh. I don't know why, I just had the most random thought of Kendra. A short lived slayer. Guy looks like Angel. No shot she catches him on the first go. Am I right? <laughs> Wait a second. Where are we exactly? That looked like a night market or a f like a street festival. So you walked up to this woman, and within like a two minute time frame, you guys are about to make out on the side of the street. Impressive. Wait. Waiting. She has to be a vampire. You know you want it. Oh, is it the um, is the mental everything? buffy? <laughs> There's my Okay, so this 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 mental buffy is really getting to him, huh? Wait. What? How could you you What? Wait, 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 wait. You honestly think I go to the end of the underworld and back to get my soul and then Buffy, I can barely live with what I did. Hungry for conversation? Oh, is that what this is? Right. What? You're jealous. Yeah, you saw me chatting up another bird. You give me the idea, somebody else. Yeah, I talk to people, women. Talk to them because I can't talk to you with someone. But that's all it is, is time. Mm -hmm. It's got to help me, Buffy. It's still all about you. You talk to her, then what? We talked. That's all I remember. All you remember? I don't know. I go out. I talk to people or I don't. Well, if you seem to forget that much, then... Not that. Taste of human blood. That I'd remember. It's talking to invisible people recently. How can you that's, be sure? That's no. objective. That's you fair. are wrong. Do you see this spike? We call this a GoPro. I got you. <laughs> no, I was gonna okay, say flip guys. cam. That's not even out around this, this time. I think flip cam came Maybe out like oh sure seven, want, six. But it still doesn't prove that it's Spike. Right now, he's the only one who knows for sure. Well, he doesn't. He can't even trust himself. The man's mental, right? So clearly, it's so the, the, the whatever was in his head of this Buffy is some got like demonic powers too or something. I don't know. It's like overriding the chip somehow. Okay, I'm gonna list the reasons that won't happen. One. Ow! The other night, I'm looking for someone who might have seen her. No, sorry. He hit you? Knocked me out. He's been gone at least half an hour. How many episodes do you think we've had that feature the bronze? Assuming there's like 20 episodes a season, seven seasons, take your wallet? 140 episodes. I'd say like 50 Staying episodes featuring the bronze. Ah, uh, cap. Maybe, maybe, maybe 75, 80, 80. Should we pick off the crowd one by one? 
or block the exits and ravish the place. You didn't seem so shy when you were biting me. Oh. I'm not asking if you want to be soulmates. No, you're lying. <laughs> okay. Yeah. This, this, this song kind of goes in. Yeah, comes in a lot lately. Every night leaves with a different girl. Chicks like Billy Adam. How many girls? Ten some? Look. Man, I hate playing vampire towns. Nice little cameo there. Love how they get the actual bands in there. There's a house, 634 Hoffman Terrace. I'll meet you. You shouldn't have done that. It's not time yet. You're going against the plan. Your claws and a mouse, you know? You are not here. And I think I killed her. And I think I, I think I killed the lady who lived here. Like, what are we doing here oh now? So he's confessed, told you. I think I buried them here. Oh, what? what is it? So is it through singing? That's why he was humming. Spike! So the melody gets him, like it breaks him out of a trance. What are you? I don't want to do this. And it's... Holy smokes! Oh god. You know what I want you to do. This can't happen. There's no chance. One, two, three. The precision is actually incredible. Now she's going to kill you. Like, how do you come back from this? There's no way he should be coming back from this. I get it was... Uh, unless you say it's his great evil, but we you know he's been having these problems. How do you even explain? He said you would do it. Who said? Please, I don't remember. Don't make me remember. I can't cry this soul out of me. It won't come. All right, so Anybody I guess confirmed here? whatever it is. He really didn't know what he'd done. He's been doing a number on him. It wasn't in his control. But I'm not letting him out of my sight, that's for sure. Buffy, he's been feeding. And if it was, and it's been screwing with Spike big time. But it's been so happening for days, like because... longer. That's the confusing Look, there's part. There's something evil working. I was about to say, where's Giles? I'm guessing he's going to be a cliffhanger. Rustin, are you here? <gasps> You too. All the watchers are gone? Dear God, I thought you would gather them. What? It's started. It is started. I understand. I'll take care. Ah, uh, I look like a pretty nasty shot. Bruh, cheer. And that was my reaction video to Buffy the Vampire Slayer season number seven, episodes number seven and eight here. And I have to say, I was a particularly big fan of both of these episodes. While season seven has been pretty enjoyable so far, I haven't found uh, any sort of like consistent tone or, or, or big thread so far. Now we're starting to get the ball rolling and I'm really enjoying where things are headed. First episode here, every single one of us, except, you know, not every single one of us, like, you know, Dawn, Buffy, Willow, um, they're all being toyed with here. Really love that direction of this episode. It took its time to mess with each and one, each and every one of us, how each of them were struggling with their own battles throughout the series. You know, something really close to them, like Dawn and her mother, obviously. Her getting the, like, the physical brunt of, <laughs> of it all, I gotta say. Having the house just decimated, thrown around, cut up, to then Willow, you know, reconnecting with Tara after having, you know, rehabilitated, having gone through all the turmoil after her death and the events that followed, only for it to be, also, by the way, I thought that was a great guest cameo again from one of the, you know, from one of the recent standouts from season number seven. So it was fun to see her return. It was all connected back to this evil here. And that episode ended off on a big bang. Jonathan from the trio 
dying. Don't know what exactly that uh, that symbol was, but I guess it sort of fully unva unveiled whatever was under from beneath him in Sunnydale that's going to devour everyone. So really enjoyed that episode from its direction, its tone, the atmosphere, um, the way that it, you know, pinpointed the trauma and pain for each of our characters. Not to mention, while it was pretty dreary in and of itself and sort of, you know, reflexive, reflective on the past, I love that idea of, of that one vampire who was with Buffy the entire time giving her some good old therapy sessions. I think he needs to send her an invoice because he did a great job as well as the actor who played him. And it was such a good change of pace, but also hilarious. Not to mention Buffy got to have a little self-reflection there about her boyfriends, her parents' relationship, how it's impacted her, her superior yet inferior complex. So I thought episode seven was just a fantastic one through and through. Going up to episode number eight now, we are fully connecting to uh, the big bad this at uh, this season that has a multitude of powers. It seems to be godly yet close to them, so I'm not entirely sure who or what this is supposed to be, or if it's like an amalgamation of, of villains. But I'm digging it so far, and, and I'm loving how serious they're taking this threat. Not to mention, we have Spike here at the forefront. He has returned himself via soul, and um, it appears this has to connect to the big bad that's been messing with him mentally. And I was I was confused initially, but I guess it's just going to say that it's been toying with Spike the most and it's just been going crazy the past, you know, two episodes with everybody else. That's going to excuse Spike's actions, killing those 10 plus people. Unfortunate for that, but you know, it is what it is. So I really did enjoy episode number eight as well. Uh, pressing the gas on this big bad arc as well. Great performances, I thought, uh, and interactions between Buffy and Spike. Hilarious moment there with Anya, like not knowing what to do, saying that I'm going to sleep his bike again, which made her obviously feel like, you know, <laughs> you know, catch some genuine feelings. Ending it off there with Rupert getting a, an ax to the head. We'll see how that goes. That being said, y'all, that was two engaging slapper episodes for season number seven of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. What did you think? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below, guys. As always, don't forget to smack the like button and subscribe if you guys haven't already. But with that being said, guys, I will see you all in episodes number nine and ten next. Love you guys. Peace.